for tactics, apparently. <laughs> oh, I he's got a mind for tactics. Like, I'm going to play chess. <laughs> and and Baldur's like, I'm gonna kick the board over and stab my opponent in the hand. I feel like Baldur's playing chess. He's just realized that the shortest route to his goal is this at the end of a dagger. <laughs> He's playing chess like you would play checkers. Like you ever see the the chess game uh, where they just uh. pick up the pawn and just go <laughs> <laughs> checkmate. <laughs> that's hey, that's it not a move. <laughs> <laughs> That's so appropriate. <laughs> it's not a move. <laughs> so appropriate. Um, so I am going to want to talk to Birdie probably tomorrow. I think we've re- exhausted the time for today. Oh, um, I uh, This is kind of in line with something I sent you in chat, Arthur, um, about yep. needing a way to get Thora to work with me. Um but we can do that tomorrow after after the next day. So I'm trying to send you a message, Arthur, and I can't. Why is this whisper GM not working? You might have to uh, do slash W space. Uh, this works. This is, a metaphor. <laughs> this is my new ability. Oh, you sent it on Skype? Yeah. Okay, yeah, you picked up cunning. Ah, well, he everybody. didn't want you to say oh, it. Come on, man! All right, what book? What playbook is it from? Wander. You don't have to like hide it from everybody else, man. It'll We're pretty be, good at it'll, not it'll, being it'll, meta. You're it'll okay. be yeah. a, it'll be a more cool reveal if you don't oh, tell it. Oh my everybody. goodness! This one's so great. You I read this one. You were literally meta moving it when you reveal that you had planned for this all along, and you wanted to later reveal all along that you had cunning. That's like some next level. <laughs> that is like precisely the one. Dimensional fourth wall shit right there. That I was yeah. hoping you would pick because it's the one that fits him so well. Yes. So you can literally be at any moment, just be like, "And I had planned this all along." Basically, to to help me out. And by the way, when I say have the uh, tax. Tax guy have an accident. I don't do not necessarily mean kill him. Accidents do not necessarily have to be fatal. But yeah, we could, he could just get robbed of all his tax money on the road. He could get robbed of his tax money. He could uh, he could get get lost on the way back. Get discredited. All sorts of things that just make things easier for us without killing the guy. I mean. From last session, killing people is is the f- last solution Balder goes to. He isn't a great fighter. True story. So, I feel like this is like that scene from Ocean's 13 where they basically ruin the casino reviewer's life the whole time. And at the very end, he wins like $13 million. And he's like, yeah, what's up? I feel like that's your plan now. Like, I'm going to ruin his life, then become his best friend. <laughs> yeah, so you've got that. Um, we're moving on to the next day, though, right? We're good with that? I think it's, well, unless you want us to keep talking through the night. Uh, I mean, I think... We only have an hour to get through the wedding. So. Oh, fair <laughs> enough. <clears throat> that's going to be difficult. Oh, okay. no, it's not, because we're skipping directly to the day of the wedding. Oh, Ooh, well, we're that actually skipping right things. to the ceremony. Bam. Okay. So That's all right. I think it's time to launch a couple evil plans in play. There have been both sides playing chess, and it's now time for the chess pieces to be revealed. Mm. So we've got this ceremony. Aitlan and Thora have already been wed. Uh, and now the gifts are being given. Aitlan and Thorn? Or Aitlan and... I'm sorry, Aitlan and Laura. Right. I was going to say, man, my plan worked wonderfully. <laughs> <laughs> so, Thora is giving her gift of of the vision of Un the Crone, and she's, like, narrating what's going to happen. And then she puts two cups out on a table in the middle of the lodge and pours, uh, like, this black vial into one of them and then starts, like, pushing the cups around. And then, like, puts a blanket over it and pushes a cup some more. And then she's like, <sighs> Nightshade is a deadly poison. <laughs> but fortunately, Un the Crone is so powerful in her magics that she can foretell which of these two cups has the deadly poison within it. 
And that's why I know she will have no problem picking which cup to drink from. I have <laughs> okay. arranged this gift of great magics for you. <clears throat> and then she, like, gestures towards the wedding party and says, Go the Ingold. I am sure that you approve of the old ways being used like in this manner. And he's like, yes, yes, whatever. Get on with it. I, too, wish to see the magics. No need for the theatrics. Old woman. And Thora is just, just like, fine. <laughs> and she, she smiles and gestures to you. Um, Un the crone and says, Un the old, would you do us all the great honor of using your magics to determine which cup has the poison and which one does not? And so the chess pieces are in place, and Gurney's and so the plan is revealed. Um, except I did foretell the future that suggested the cup, both cups were filled with death. Um, but is it the poison that's the death, or is it your poor choice? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> uh, um, is, it, is it a literal vision, or is it the metaphor that you can either choose to take the poison cup or, yeah, as he mentioned, make a poor choice here and refuse to play the game. And then death stops you, you anyway. Die. So I would like to point out that someone has just asked me to do magic. So I gain three bonds with them. Sure. Okay. Well, let, uh, let's be clear on the wording there. I think you have to actually do magic. Okay. Um, well, so she asked me <laughs> to do magic uh, and show um, what's, the, what's the word I'm looking for. She asked me to do the magic. I haven't done it yet. Help them with your magic, and you agree. Well, you you already gained the bonds for that. That happened the first time. So that was that. This is what she asked you yeah. for in the first place: was to do the vision. No double yeah. dipping on that one. This isn't yeah. contract. Uh, technically, this is a different person. This is Thora. But not this Thora. is Thora. Oh, this yes. is Thora. That's right. Yes, Sorry, it's Thora, right. goading okay. you into doing this. Okay. Yeah. All right. Right. This is the trade that you did before. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So, and she's smiling wide, man. She's so happy to have you in this position with a 50/50 chance of death. Hmm. Okay. Well, then what will I do? I guess Huh. Hmm. What is the way if out of Only you would have told me. <laughs> Ew, this is a tough one. Um, this kind of got sprung on me. I guess that's the point of this. All right. So um, I guess the first thing I'll do is roll the bones, as I've been asked to do magic. Excellent. Um, All things and, I want to hear. Yep. And more importantly, you agreed to do magic. That's right. You in your honor to not do what you agreed. Ooh, and I come up with honor. doom. <laughs> oh, shit. You yep. roll a five. The bones predict terrible misfortune. Unfortunately, what That's you see, obvious. Un the crone, is that tonight, no matter what you do, you will die. Hmm. The That's bones not... just seek they seek your death. The bones seek my death. No yeah. matter what roll the bones, they come up all ones. <sighs> Let's see. Okay. Um, I don't suppose I can use my child of fate for a way out of this situation. You feel that you have something that you need? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I need a way out. Actually, an yeah, antidote no, for sure. a nightshade. That's a thing you could do. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see if this comes up with more than seven. Uh, it comes with strings attached, but I do get a way out should I need it. Uh, and what is it you're seeking a way out of? This situation or out of death? I am seeking... Huh. A way to leave this wedding alive and with what you want? <laughs> yeah, I don't think the that's going to happen. didn't say anything about leaving the wedding alive. They said you die before the day is done. I die before the day is done. Yeah, you see grave misfortune in it at the end. Hopefully, of the it's day. one of the metaphorical deaths rather than the physical. No, it's a very literal death. <laughs> okay. There's no metaphors involved here. The bones are pretty specific. Okay. Um, okay, then I will. Uh, I will say. Um, 
my great host. I have spent my years practicing the arts of the uh, practicing the arts of the fates, and in that time I have trained another. I would defer this decision to her. She may choose which cup I drink from. <laughs> and she will drink the other. Oh, man, so good. Not too shabby. I so wish, good. I wish to pass on, uh, I wish to pass on my wealth and status to one who has surpassed me. And in my final act, I will offer her the chance to prove that she is worthy. And I will take my death before you. There's a great quote like that, and it's something like the greatest compliment to a teacher is to see their students achieve or something like that. Mm -hmm. yeah, surpass them. Surpass them, yeah, that's it. Yeah. All right, well, you know how you needed a way out? Well, you just found one. Okay. Uh, so not knowing... This is all behind the scenes. I'm just narrating why this is happening for the audience. Not knowing that her mother has secretly poisoned both cups, Gurney immediately agrees. In the process, Thora knows that both cups are poisoned and that Gurney will die. And so, immediately is like, Of course! You have revealed your wisdom indeed! The only reason you would ask my daughter to drink of one cup is that you know that both are poisoned, Un the Crone. Your vision has has shown you again. And she starts clapping and everybody's like, yeah, Un the Crone. <laughs> <laughs> just like, I will kill you. And like, on her breast, she walks over and she's like, I will kill you one day, Un the Crone. Uh, you'll be lucky to see your way through the end of the night. Uh, both cups poisoned, you say? That is a most eloquent trick. The, what would she say? I gotta feel, I feel like there's a way to turn this against Thora here. Like, she literally just tried to murder me in front of everyone. Um, yep, that's well, they see it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's true. There's, there's nothing, yeah, there's nothing to say she wouldn't have stopped you and called you a fool and then showed uh, for what they were, which is that they were both poisoned. But. Okay. Okay, um, but you could would... you could always try and demean the quality of her ruse and something like it's a poor use of magic or something like that. I don't actually have a move that lets me demean a woman, just a man, hilariously. <laughs> <laughs> Now's a good time to ask. So there's a goatee rule that lets you take a, a move from a woman's playbook. Yep. I'm assuming it reverses the genders on the woman's moves. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> so I am going to... Uh, okay. Yep, I'll leave it as it is. I've somehow managed to dodge death. Have you? Oh, fair enough. <laughs> the runes still say... <laughs> the runes still say you're going to die tonight. It will not be from this cup, though. So I so would it um I feel like I could at the very least impress everyone here somehow by <laughs> I was going to say would now be an opportune time for me to start boasting I I think I some help here guys you, you wanted some <laughs> hey. help earlier right so <laughs> yes. you asked for my help yep. I'm not sure if Olaf thinks he would help you more by confiding some great wisdom in you right mm -hmm. I I am going to start boasting of Un's great prophetic visions that are, that are the, uh, the only reason uh, why everything has been as good as it is for our town. She yeah. is the wisest among us. Truly. Can we do double down on the boasting? You can, that, but yeah. you have to look at the way it's applied. Yep. It's a I plus one going, forward, right? Yep. Yep, and you have I'm to act on what you're saying. Right. So, I, so I'm so I want to give her a pl plus one whenever she needs to use her wisdom, which in any way, basically. 
Okay. I think you actually have to offer me wisdom for me to use that. Yes. So at the particular uh, time, you have to. Push. No, no. The way he's I, he's rolling boasting. Yeah. So I'm saying that you like, are so smart. So wise. Yes. Yeah. She's okay. so, so that, wise. She always knows it, what's to it's do. It's not going to apply to the bones roll. It's going to apply to the yep. when she speaks out and gives wisdom to people. There's another one of her. Although it's a woman's move. Uh, I can raise my voice and talk sense. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's see how good I am at posting. Ha! <laughs> wow, that's right. a six. Oof. Yeah, at least you have the plus two. Still not good. No. That's actually, it still fails. It's not a seven yeah. or nine. It yeah. fails. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's only on a seven, isn't it? Yep. yep. Daggers. This fortune strikes. You start boasting about the power of Un the Crone. All right. And Gurney steps forward and is like, Ugh. You seek to say how well the village is guided by Un the Crone, Baldur Odinson. But I think all gathered here know that the village is piss poor due to your actions and to Oon's poor decisions. Who is this speaking again? It's Gurney the Child. Okay. We have no food. We have no shelter. We have no wood to replace anything. We have nothing but money. And a, her a herald of a king from far away who does nothing but tax us. Things are not good at all. And they are to be lamed at the blade. The blame is to be laid at the feet of of Un the Crone, who arranged to use her power to help you dishonorably kill the Lascothi, the son of Ragnar. And he's, she's just like going on. And I would like to actually like, you yeah, know, that's no, true. things have no. been pretty poorly. That, that this, this is not something that I would stand by idly. She's a child yeah. and a woman. I would yeah. stand up. And strike her. Who is she to speak in a hall of men? Who is she to speak at not our house? Who is she to speak in front of her betters? Okay. Patience, uh, Olaf. Olaf. No, no, Olaf. I need you to roll for enduring grave harm. You strike her, and Thora draws a sword behind you and strikes at you with a blade. Uh, so is that young? So it's an eight? Young. You get to pick one. What would you like to do? So she's comment. going to stab me with her sword, and I'm going to endure grave harm. Yep. There's no way this ends well for me, for her, because she's striking a man. In There's... the house, in front of everyone. Yeah. Um... So it will get better on its own, otherwise you need assistance. So if I don't pick that one, I need assistance. You don't pick the scar, you take the scar. Scar. <laughs> it gives you purpose. Maybe you can become Olaf Crushed Hands. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I will choose to not take the scar. So that means if I choose that, I'll need help to recover from her wound. You will. And that's it, right? Yeah. Fortunately, you have a Seath Kona who's pretty good at helping people. Right. Yeah, I'm going to choose that one. I, I also okay. have my wife, or, well, whatever she is to me. Yeah. Well, wife. unfortunately, yeah. you might note that she can't roll on anything. Right. So uh, she strikes you from behind. Weapons are starting to be drawn all over the hall. The Gothi is shouting. He's like, what the fuck is happening here? Who would dare draw weapons on my daughter's wedding day? Yeah, and so so just so I'm clear, isn't she his... Like, the, the house that we're in, she's his seat Kona, right? No, Thora oh. doesn't have magic. Oh, she's she doesn't. I she thought does. Thora is Thora is Gurney's mother. She's yes. the one yeah. who poisoned the goblets. She oh, stabbed you she in the back. She is a member of this village, but not the leader. And oh, I thought she had magic, though. I thought she was no, a no. Shikona. Her daughter does. Gurney. <laughs> yeah, I magic. just assumed the mother did too. So no, I guess not. she's very specifically doesn't have magic and doesn't, okay. as they say, truck with it. Right. She's been trying to get her daughter to not be a Seath Kona. Yeah, I got I got that, but I didn't realize that it was. Yeah. yeah. My bad. All right, so I'm up to speed. Yeah, th chaos is breaking up all around you. Before things move forward anymore, you guys have any actions you'd like to take? Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. 
You guys can go ahead while I'm being stabbed. <laughs> <laughs> so is she stabbing me with a sword? Yeah. Why does a woman have a sword if she's just a common woman? She's she a free a woman. Is she, she a free a woman? Yeah. She has a sword. We already, no, no, she has a sword. We already established she has an umbrella case full of swords. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Did. <laughs> oh. The next thing question, why does she have swords? Maybe you could ask her when she's done stabbing you for hitting her daughter with a full backhand. Uh... My next my next move is going to be, as soon as I see that happen, is going to be taking a moment to consider how I can make the most of this situation. <laughs> that sounds like a move. Yeah. That, because that is what Balter does. You're considering an uneasy situation then? Mm -hmm, yes. Let's roll it. Seven. Oh, oh fuck. All right. Uh, seven. Really seven. Yeah. Yeah. You, the fates are not with you, but fortunately you have so much skill at reading situations like this. You mm -hmm. do manage to get something out of it. Ask one question. Ah. Uh, what is the most I can make out of this situation? Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to take a minute to think about this one. <laughs> I did not expect the, the question would be, how can I turn this to my advantage? I thought the question I would know. be, how can I get out of this shit without dying? Oh no! Uh, what is the most I can make out of the situation? We're in a shitty shit, shit, shit situation already. We're going, we're going all all in here. We're going to I. I feel like you could probably show great leadership here. Yeah. You, were, you this is yeah. like a perfect opportunity. Everything's in chaos. If you could somehow show great leadership, I would also would, say an honor. If you could show those yes. two things, you could turn it around. Yes. You could turn your shitty reputation mm -hmm. around. That that's literally true. just got called out by Gurney the Child. Well, yes. that's what I was going to say. You're on, you, you've had your honor question, but here we have a woman from another town. You, you have a young girl from our town speaking up against us who I stood up for you and, and shut her down. But more importantly, I stood up because she was a girl. And then you have a woman from another town stabbing one of your – who's Carl's in, in the back – and that's clearly, clearly dishonorable work. So I think it she's impugning the honor of her Gothi by acting that way. There's there's huge black flags in, in the society oh, yeah. based there's... on honor about women stabbing men. She's acting way outside of her rank. And if you can if you can milk some of that honor towards your side uh, somehow. Th I'm gonna need I'm gonna need to milk that as much as I can. The only thing I'm considering right now is whether she's going to be dead in the next few seconds or not. Is are people literally just drawing and starting to? I don't think you have to kill her. The step? Um, I think no, no, I, I, I don't think I have to kill her. I'm, I'm just wondering if somebody else is going to kill her in the next few seconds. So it's not even few seconds. Ask. There's no one striking each other, but everyone's drawing weapons. It's oh, I, I will liken it to the King Arthur legends at Camelin. When someone struck down the snake and everybody drew weapons and stabbed each other, it's like that, except instead of stabbing each other, everybody's just looking uneasily around. You know, all of the people from your farm set are spread throughout the room, and there are way fewer of you than there are these guys. They're not willing to commit to making the first move. Great. Right. Oh, hell no. I am going to... I am going to raise my hands, and I am going to ask... I'm going to say everyone wait let there be no bloodshed there's already been enough dishonor on this great day where laura has been wed to to eitlin the <clears throat> the shame the shame that has been brought on upon our our village is, is great but there is no need for further bloodshed let us sheathe our weapons and talk about this like honorable men and sheathe make... our weapons are you are you suggesting that an act of violence done in presence of the gode go unpunished of what course kind not. of man would let such criminal acts stand they should be they should go before a court of law well, here, here, this is the court of law. We are literally yeah, standing I, in the court of law right now. We are literally standing <laughs> in the court of law. I'm saying we don't hack her to pieces. I I'm not I'm suggesting saying, we hack her. It's, oh, I'm, saying, liter I'm literally saying I, I look at the other Gorda and give him the respect of saying 
that that it is his word he, that goes here, and that it is his to say, kill her for doing that. I'm not going to be the one who sa- who says it. I'm I'm giving him the the honor of uh, seize as much honor as you can in this situation. Like you need to make the leadership here. Like, or because it, the the, re, the the village's reputation is still very important to us right now. Yeah, but um, would, wouldn't I be acting out of turn if I said slay her? No, no, I'm, it's not about I'm not killing her. Here. It's it, it's it, about uh, trying to incur like trying he, to take the leadership of the situation and enforce justice and honor in the situation. You seem dishonorable, yeah. acts. Right. Be the one to say yeah. it. But I'm, you should I'm, view yeah, the I'm, honor as a debt. He's offended one of your Huskarls and lowered his honor. He's indebted to you by that dishonorable act, and you, you should try and leverage that. Because Olaf is pissed, but at the Olaf. same time, he's honor-bound to go by what this Gothi says. And he the Gothi should rule. Some It's okay. his wedding day, his... One of his town folk has stabbed a neighboring man, oh. and she's a woman. Like the the honor factor there is way let's, way skewed. Let's leave out the sheath our weapons part. Let's uh, insert a little bit more. Remember how late it is in Iceland at the moment. I'm trying yeah, to think of yeah, the proper word words to say here. Don't that- worry, I, I got you. So while you're trying to calm the situation down, you've done a little bit of explaining. Simander shows up with his uh, Danex and just just like sneers at you, Balder Odinson, and is like, "Is this what your village has come to? Beating women in the great log hall, and then being stabbed by their mother from behind? You speak of leaving dishonor behind when it hangs from you. And is this what you have come to?" Dis- throwing dishonor upon me and my hall in front of your father. So after... you would say that your honor is in question then. Oh yes, it is definitely in question. Gender, then. We will see if you can rebuke them without any trouble or if something will come of it. I will spend well, um, I was going to spend ten. a bond. I will I guess... ten. Yeah. And I, yeah, and I just say without any trouble. Well, that was a bad play on his part. <laughs> I, tried, I just though. Totally shut him down that he is the one acting dishonorably here. Already has a person from your village struck one of my men from behind on the we- on the wedding day of your sister, and you come here throwing insults at at me and my men. How dare you? He rolls his shoulders and says, My honor is in serving Christ. You cannot question that. Really? I can, it's, literally, I, it's literally a move. <laughs> you can now say your honor is in serving Christ if someone questions it, and that's that. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, how dare you? And he's like, serve Christ. Sir, you serve Christ only, and you serve not your father? You care not for his honor? Uh, my father's honor is his own. I'm simply attempting to keep this village's honor intact. By by dishonoring me, I don't think I think you have stepped up. I don't have to dishonor you. You have dishonored yourself a dozen times. I like I would I would like to interrupt. Yes, and I would like to roll confidant against the what's the current Gothi of the Uh, lost his name. I don't want to say the girl's name. Inkolur. His name is uh, Inkolur Thordarson. Yeah, I I would like um. Thormundsson, yeah. Yeah, I would like to speak over the argument that's going on because I have just been stabbed and having <laughs> having been Listen, I've just been stabbed. <laughs> Listen to me. <laughs> right. Uh, uh and so I don't I very specifically don't want to question his honor, but I want confidant says you tell them what you think. Yep. And so Olaf would 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 say something like, you know, I want to express how, I, and it's hard for it's hard for me to put this into words. Tell because he thinks this should be dealt with here and now, and this is not this is not something for for Christians and women to squabble over. 
This is a this is a judgment that no Gothi would abide in their hut. No woman stabs a man and skirts the in the back. And so I'm telling him that I think this has to be dealt with now. 